By 1910, it was a growing metropolis of 250,000. About this time, William Boeing, a young timber baron from Minnesota, came west to sail his yacht. But before long, he was building airplanes. By the 1930s, the Boeing Company was a leading innovator in research and design. Then came World War II, and with it came one of the most celebrated planes in aviation history, the B-17, the Flying Fortress. Its famous profile, its versatility, and its tremendous stamina made it a legend. Designed for long-distance bombing runs over Germany, it gained a reputation for being able to suffer severe damage and still limp back to base. A prominent Air Force general claimed it was the best combat plane ever built. With the B-17, and later on the B-29, the war effort swelled Seattle's population to half a million, and one-fifth, or 100,000, worked at Boeing. In the 1950s, Boeing flourished on military contracts. Then, in 1959, it introduced the 707, a passenger jet that cut flying time in half. It was the first in a series of jet aircraft that revolutionized domestic and international travel. For the streamliners crisscrossing the continent, it was the beginning of the end. Boeing's humble beginning gave little hint of the giant it would someday become. Improving the old, inventing the new, testing and retesting, Boeing has captured the world market. It is the number one manufacturer of commercial aircraft, and it is by far Seattle's number one employer. <laughs>